Hey guys, this is Kumar, here to talk to you about the science and theory behind everything that happened in Fortnite Season 3 through Season X, and how we got to Chapter 2. Alright, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about something that drives the entire Fortnite universe. We're going to start with the end, do a little Quentin Tarantino, but we're going to talk about zero point. Not zero point in the way that you think of it, but zero point energy. The easiest way to describe zero point energy is this picture here, which shows that as you decrease the temperature towards absolute zero, there's some energy left over in the molecules, and that can be described by the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This principle states that you can know either the speed or the location of an object, but not both. So if an electron is cooled down to where it's not moving, that energy has to still come from its location. It's basically teleporting in and out of existence. This zero point energy has been calculated to be an order of magnitude greater than nuclear energy with a single light bulb containing enough energy to boil all of the world's oceans. Now look at that ball you know in Fortnite called zero point and think of how much bigger that is than a light bulb. Mind blown, right? Well, buckle up, there's a whole lot more. Okay, back to Fortnite and where my theory differs from several others that I've seen. We get a new guy, the visitor, building a rocket. What's he going to do with it? Well, we all assume blow up Tilted Towers, but it was never meant to blow up Tilted Towers. It did exactly what it was meant to do. The rocket's not an explosive device. It's a passenger vehicle. The visitor's in it. He's not going to blow himself up on Tilted Towers. He has no reason to go kamikaze. He wanted to teleport back in time so that he could ensure that the meteor did not hit Dusty Divot. When the visitor launched the rocket in the first stage separated from the second, he said something very specific. Zero point oscillator armed. Well, the Purcell effect states that you can amplify the emission of zero-point energy by using a quantum harmonic oscillator and mirror it to resonate that frequency even more. So simply stated, those lasers on the front of the rocket were meant to amplify the zero-point, which created the first rift. If you played Fortnite Season X, you know that the zero-point is a permanent rift. But why? My theory here relies on Einstein and E equals MC squared. Since the zero-point has an insane amount of energy in it, in a very small volume, that means the mass or density is extremely high, creating its own miniature black hole. It's speculated that black holes can double as a wormhole to an alternate universe or dimension. There's no data to prove that, but we do know that rifts can go to different timelines, as you see with the junk rift, and as you see with Jonesy in season nine predicting the events that were about to happen. And a little foreshadowing for you guys, what's at the center of a black hole? I'll give you a hint. Now that we know in Fortnite you can travel back in time with junk rifts, we know that the visitor went back in time to make sure the meteor didn't hit Dusty Divot. This is called a time loop. If you've seen the movie Looper, you would know exactly why they call it a loop. Now that the visitor created rifts all over the Fortnite island, other parties that are power hungry and interested in the zero point energy come like moths to a flame. You have Ice King, you have Blackheart, and, sorry to say it, but you have Kevin. Everyone loved Kevin the Cube as he rolled around the Fortnite island, leaving mysterious runes in his wake. He was this energy that was just unexplained, but every skin that has cube energy is listed as dark. And we all think of dark energy as this fictional thing, but it's really not fictional. Dark energy is a real thing, just like zero point energy. Dark energy is formed from zero point energy. Dark energy can be described by zero point energy. Dark energy and zero point energy are one and the same, and they're both driving forces in the real universe. Now you have this power hungry cube of dark energy rolling around the island. It releases minions for Fort Nightmares to try to take over the island and harness the zero point energy for itself. As the players fight back against the minions in the cube, something fantastic happens. You see the cube start to spin faster and faster and faster until it explodes. And we see a glimpse of the bridge. The bridge is an area in between dimensions. It has several zero points from several dimensions, and it's all harnessed by one wire mesh. Then we see a butterfly form out of nowhere, it comes down and it touches the player. This is to help us escape the bridge. Otherwise, we would not be able to get back to our Fortnite world. So once we escape the bridge, we can see that light has taken over. We see flowers, we see rainbows. Soon after, a skin and a back bling are released called Dream and Shattered Wing. Dream says light breaks through and features a picture of the butterfly. Shattered Wing is the butterfly and says break through. The light of the zero point has broken through the dark energy that was Kevin. Now we're going to go ahead and fast forward and skip past the Ice King season. Even though his sword was zero point energy and he summoned dark energy from a cube to make the zombies again, 
it doesn't really add a whole lot to the story. So we're gonna fast forward to when we discover the vault. The vault has a very unique symbol on it, which if it looks familiar, is the same symbol on the outfit of the skin called Infinity. Infinity can harness junk rips. Infinity can harness a rift in himself. He has the ability to harness zero point energy, which is why he has victories in the stars and the fate of the galaxy rests on your shoulders. He is containing the zero point that is inside the vault. The zero point, the source of all the energy. While everybody was unlocking weapons, trying to get to the Tommy gun, trying to get the sword back, the zero point was sitting there with an oddly placed desk, which we later find out to be owned by, what's that? Singularity. Where else can you find a singularity? In the middle of a black hole. What else are the rifts? Black holes. So once we see all of this, we are then ejected from the vault. All that energy erupts the volcano, changes the island, and one very critical thing, knocks off some ice protecting one giant eye. Now we get to season nine, which is a pretty cool season, but not quite as eventful when it comes to actual storytelling. However, there are a few very critical moments that happen near the end of it. The monster with the one giant eye breaks out of the iceberg, Caddis, and wreaks havoc on the island. This causes Singularity to start building a mech robot to be able to fend off the monster. However, in their epic battle, Singularity has to break through the containment field that's also for the vault to get to the zero point orb and use it against the monster. Once the zero point energy has been used to kill the monster, we get the exact same flowers that we got when the zero point defeated the dark energy that was the cube. So that basically wraps up the big events. However, I do find it pretty interesting that X Lord that says ransack every dimension has a tattoo that looks vaguely familiar to how Caddis attacked the mech. All right, now we get to all the juicy fun stuff that starts in Season X. Season X starts with a literal bang, with Jonesy running away from the destabilized zero-point orb as it begins to explode. He's then teleported into an eerie in-between place where he sees things from different times, different dimensions, different items, different skins. Also, the visitor's rocket, which is going to be critical later. Finally, he's warped back out of that in-between spot and time is frozen. He is now out of time. Not that time is running out, he's no longer in the loop of time. Season X is about out of time. If you thought that the zero point orb was a rift zone like the others, it wasn't. It was an explosion, frozen in time, mid explosion. Here's another angle of it with all of the characters from season X walking away. It's not a rift zone. They're out of time. A lot of season X can be summarized with the tapes found at the end of the season. I'll start with an important one that kind of kicks everything off. The garbled theorem was a success. I, us, you arrived outside the loop at the exact moment of expansion. This effectively paused the singularity, giving us time to create the devices needed to synchronize the junction. Remember the expansion of the zero point orb at the very beginning of season X, the explosion, that is right when Jonesy goes into the in-between and we see a visitor's rocket. This means that they came outside of the loop of time at the exact moment of the explosion, which paused the explosion, giving them time to create the rift beacons, which were created through season X. That way, all different dimensions, all parallel visitors could synchronize the junction of them coming together before the zero point destroyed the island. This next tape is a little bit more straightforward. When I hear this again, will it help me remember? For once looped while I be as muted as the others, no matter, it seems the lengthy precautions work. This is more of a typical time traveling movie type thing where if you want to break outside the loop of time and leave yourself a note to do that, will you be able to read your own note? And then the, the scientist is just basically saying, it doesn't matter. If you're listening to this tape, it seems that it worked. This next tape actually says a lot. What the seven of us are attempting is very risky. I suspect they are not the only ones watching, but it must be done or we lose the bridge forever. The seven of them is basically the seven visitors, the, the visitor, the scientist, paradigm, and supposedly four other visitors in parallel dimensions. And what they're attempting is messing with the timeline with unstable zero point energy or the rifts around the map. I suspect they are not the only ones watching. Well, remember back to the enforcer? 
the enforcer's skin is always shown trying to protect rifts, trying to protect rift zones coming after time travelers. They are the enforcers of time. They are said to balance and order must be restored. So it is they who are watching, but who else would be watching? Well, remember the oppressor, a recent skin, out of time and out for vengeance. The oppressor has the exact same hash marks on his skin that the visitor has. He is the other one watching along with the enforcers. And it must be done or else they'll lose the bridge. If the visitors do not complete this task, then they will not get the opportunity to meet again. The bridge is open because the zero point is exposed. What I didn't factor was that the only way to trigger the device was from within the loop itself. This is hasty and primitive recording and why now you, I find myself looped. This is the scientist acknowledging that he has to be inside the loop of time to start his rocket, his rift beacons and get everything going that they need to get going. So he had to record a tape to send to himself and basically say, hey, you have to be looped, listen to this, do what I say. This next tape has the most science behind it. I speculate that no one calculated the formation of the island, that interdimensional matter collisions would resolve rather than push. Now that I witnessed it firsthand, it's obvious that pinching alone made it inevitable. Okay, so he's first saying that the Fortnite island, nobody really thought about how it was created. Interdimensional matter collisions resolving rather than pushing that's a discussion like we saw in Moisty Palms, where you had Moisty Mire merging, resolving with Paradise Palms. They didn't push each other, they didn't explode, they didn't destruct, none of that, they just resolved together. So interdimensional matter could exist in the same dimension. Now the biggest part, that's one word, is the word pinching. Pinching alone made it inevitable. Well, pinching, again, is a real thing in science. It is. The, the big number one area of research for fusion power. Pinching, or a Z-pinch, a Zeta pinch, basically states that you squeeze matter together to hopefully create fusion. Pinching is also the reason behind lightning bolts, the aurora borealis, and solar flares. Well, I think we've seen some lightning and some solar flares in the game before, so I think we have a pinch possible. Pinching also requires a wire mesh. We saw a wire mesh in the bridge. We know that pinching is inevitable. You're pinching the zero point. Here's what a pinch looks like in real life. And it looks exactly like some stuff that we see in the game. Oh wait, here's fusion that looks like the zero point that says immeasurable energy. This is a backbling from chapter two. So what fusion would we be talking about? Well, ICF or inertial confinement fusion is the heating and compressing of a fuel target or the zero point orb. First, energy has to be delivered to the outer layer of this target using high energy beams of laser light. Where could we get high energy beams of laser light? That's right, the visitor's rocket. By compressing the target, this process is designed to create shock waves that travel inward through the target. A sufficiently powerful set of shock waves can compress and heat the fuel so much that fusion reactions occur. So by heating the target with the laser, using the meteor to destroy the inner barrier of the zero point and create shock waves that create fusion that eventually create astrophysics, a black hole, merging everything together to create fusion all merged into one. Using zero point energy, which is everything and nothing, we've created fusion and a black hole that has merged all dimensions together at the same time. Our final recording is activate the beacon at precisely the moment this timer reaches nothing. The zero point must be contained once more. If they're correct, it will be the end. This is saying that all visitors across all dimensions need to activate the beacon at precisely the right time. That way all the rockets can work together and they can create the fusion reaction which creates the black hole to start everything new. The enforcers were correct. It will be the end of Fortnite but that it must be done to contain the zero point because it's unstable. The explosion will end the island. If they contain it inside of a black hole and create a new universe, it can be contained once more. They succeed, but then messages are received from the black hole. I was not alone. Others are outside the loop. This was not calculated. The zero point is now inevitable. We are outside the loop with the visitor and the scientist. We are seeing what is happening. We know his actions and he did not calculate that, but it doesn't matter because the zero point is inevitable the big bang the immeasurable energy the nuclear fusion is going to start fortnite chapter two 
and there's nothing that can be done about it. Come check me out on YouTube or Twitch. I've got more theories for Chapter 2 and hopefully some more answers. Thanks, guys.